Good morning, everyone. It's um, 10 a.m. I'd like to welcome everybody to the October the 5th of 2020 commission meeting of the Limestone County Commission. Um, and call it to order. Ellen, do we have any public comment? We do not. All right. Ellen, would you please call roll? Yes. Commissioner Samet? Here. Commissioner Turner? Here. Commissioner Black? Here. Commissioner Harrison? Here. Commissioner Black, would you like to lead us in our pledge, please? Sir? I will. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. All right, first thing on the agenda, I'll ask for a motion to approve the minutes from September the 21st of 2020. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black. Do I have a second? <coughs> second. Second by Commissioner Turner. Any discussion with these? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, second on the agenda, I'll ask for a motion to approve claims in the amount of three million eighty-one thousand six hundred and seven dollars and thirteen cents. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Commissioner Samet. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Black. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Black. Aye. Commissioner Turner. Aye. Commissioner Harrison. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, do we have any conflicts of interest for anything coming in front of the commission today? All right, everybody's silence. I'll take that as a no. Um, we have no resolutions and orders um, under contracts, agreements, and grants. First on here, I'll ask for a motion to approve agreement with Wisner LLC as a <coughs> consultant for a project number HSIP 4216, parentheses 250, for the intersection of uh, modifications on East Limestone Road and Capshaw Road to install a roundabout pending county attorney approval. Do I have such a motion? I make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Turner to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Harrison. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Commissioner Mel Black? Aye. Commissioner Salmon? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, second on here. I'll ask for a motion to approve agreement with Morrell Engineering Incorporated to provide CENI services on project number HRRR 4220, parentheses 250, for the widening, um, leveling, resurfacing, and traffic striping on East Ferry Road north of Suffer Creek through the curve. Do I have such a motion? I make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Harrison. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Samet. Any discussion? Hey, Mark, just, uh, do you have any estimate on when the work will commence? Uh, no, the contract hasn't been approved yet. I mean, it was let the last, was let two Fridays ago, so we're probably four to six weeks from okay. notice to proceed being issued. Then they'll have 15 days to begin work from notice to proceed being issued. Okay. Any more discussion? No more discussion. I'll ask for the vote. Mr. Harrison? Aye. Mr. Samet? Aye. Mr. Turner? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, we have no budget revisions, no emergency purchases, no board appointments. Under award of bids, I'll ask for a motion to approve a bid with W.H. Thomas Oil for 30 cents over rack on um, gas and diesel. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Turner. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, next on the agenda, under personnel action, I'll ask for a motion to approve to hire um, Kathy Sims as a part-time van driver for the council and agent pending a drug screening. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion. Mr. Motion Second. by Commissioner Samet. Second by Commissioner Black. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, second on here, I'll ask for a motion to approve to hire James Cook as a part-time courthouse security pending a drug screening. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Samet. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Turner. Any discussion? 
No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Third on the agenda, I'll ask for a motion to approve to hire Justin Smith as a deputy pending a drug screening. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Turner. Any discussion? <coughs> no discussion. I'll call for vote. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Fourth on the agenda, I'll ask for a motion to promote Stephanie Little to title clerk in the, lim in the license commission office. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Harrison. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Turner. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Fifth on the agenda, I'll ask for a motion to approve the following job descriptions and update the staffing plan to reflect um, number one on here is the administrative assistant at the sheriff's office, and the second one is the director of community relations and the grants. On a, do I have a motion for these two job descriptions? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Samet. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. The motion carries unanimously. We have no merit increases today at this point. I'll turn it over to our engineer, Mr. Massey. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I have four subdivisions for your consideration today. Uh, Shaw Estates, Phase 2. This is minor, preliminary, and final, uh, creating five lots in District 3. It's on the south side of Snake Road, approximately 250 feet east of Ripley Road at the intersection of Snake Road. Uh, east Limestone Acres Subdivision, this is a replat of Lot 13. It's a minor, uh, so preliminary and final. Um, it's creating two lots um, from one in District 2, southeast corner of the intersection of Macklemore Circle and Macklemore Street. Uh, Gatlin Estates, this is a minor preliminary and final, uh, creating two lots from one in District 2 uh, at the address of 26579 Barksdale Road in Athens. And uh, Maurice Cannon Estate Subdivision, this is a replat of a previous replat of Tract 1. It's minor, preliminary, and final, affecting two lots in District 4, uh, 600 feet north of Airport Road and um, Alabama Highway 127. That's all I have for your consideration today. All righty. Do I have a motion to approve the four subdivisions as submitted by our engineer, Mr. Massey? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Harrison. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Black. Any discussion with any of them? All righty. No discussion with any of them. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. <coughs> Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Under other business, I'll ask for a motion to approve the sale on Gov Deals 1 2006 Dodge Durango from the Sheriff's Office with a VIN number listed below. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion second. by Commissioner Black and second by Commissioner Samet. Any discussion with this vehicle? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, we have no scheduled public hearings. At this time, I'll turn it over to the report to officers. Commissioner Samet? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd just like to mention that uh, Whale Street over the interstate there where they were raising the bridges uh, is open and uh, looks really good. The state did a good job on it. Wish I could have talked them into running the asphalt a little further, but they wouldn't do it. And uh, now they've got the Black Road over the interstate shut down. Uh, they'll be working on it probably <clears throat> till the end of the month or better. But uh, just ask folks to keep that in mind. Uh, you can detour around Whale Street now, but uh, like I say, it'll be about a month. It'll be an inconvenience, but it'll be good when they get it raised and, and completed. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner Samet. Commissioner Turner? Uh, we're continuing to Bush Hog. Um, shouldn't be much more after this trip with the weather and time of year. So we're also running a bushwhacker every day trying to get the limbs trimmed back away from the road. Uh, outside of that, just normal maintenance. <clears throat> all right. 
Thank you, Commissioner Turner. Commissioner Black? Uh, contractors have started this morning, or they were supposed to, paving on Shaw Road. We had done a, a micro seal on it where we had come in and put tar and small stones to seal the road off, and uh, Keenum is the ones that got the bid, and they should be coming in and paving. Uh, we're cutting shoulders also. We're in the southernmost area of District 3. We're around Swancott and over on County Line Road uh, near Madison. That's where we're cutting right now. Uh, got a couple of guys who are doing non-emergency requests that we've had over the last two or three weeks while we were paving, and they're filling in that kind of stuff. We had a couple of wells that were uh, that were open that uh, people would call wanting to know if we could help cover those wells up, and that's something that we do uh, for the safety of our citizens. And then the last thing I have here is uh, I'd like to ask for uh, prayers for the President of the United States that is, uh, that is ill at this time in uh, Walter Reed Hospital. Uh, this is a, a very uh, sensitive time for our country and uh, President Trump being sick. Uh, there's a lot of things that can happen and some of them are not good. So uh, make sure that we uh, say a prayer for the United States and for President Trump. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Black. Commissioner Harrison. Paving crew is mobilizing today to uh, move equipment to Tillman Mill Road. They're going to start tomorrow. We're is that, milling today. We're milling, okay. Milling today, and then we're clipping shoulders. My crew is clipping shoulders on Tillman Mill in preparation. They're going to put out 250 tons tomorrow, and then they're going to go to District 3 Thursday and Friday, and then um, come back into uh, – and to finish up Tillman Mill. We've got a total of 1,100 tons of milling and filling on Tillman Mill that should be uh, completed sometime next week. Then they're going to go to um, go to Whitty Mill and do that section to, to Claremont and then go to Bailey Road. So that should complete our uh, projects for this month. Uh, we had a collapse, another collapse, corrugated metal pipe on uh, Quinn Road last week and it presented a problem because uh, when we started digging out the water line was laying right on top of the corrugated metal pipe. Uh, the pipe that we're replacing it is we're replacing it with was uh, larger than the corrugated metal pipe therefore it interfered with the water line and it created some consternation at the water authority because they had people in class and they didn't have uh, they had to scramble to get people out there to relocate that pipe. So uh, we talked, I talked with uh, Darrell Williamson, the CEO at the Water Authority, and uh, we're going to put in place a, uh, we're just going to automatically assume that when we replace or upsize a pipe underneath the road, that it's going to, if they've got a water line in that vicinity, it's going to interfere with the water line. So we're going to go ahead and have them locate the depth because if we had had the depth information of the water line, we would have known it was going to interfere. We could have uh, alerted the water authority, and they could have we could have coordinated to where it not uh, interfere with their operations, or we could have scheduled it, and we can work together and, and, and divide up the work and get it done a lot quicker without having to scramble. So uh, uh, Mark is going to just. Uh, Put that into 311 to where whenever we upsize a pipe underneath the road, it automatically sends an alert to the water authority to uh, go ahead and get us depth information. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Harrison. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank Ella for the great job she's done today. We're starting our transition here October the 1st of <clears throat> employees moving around. And like I said, we didn't get Michelle's you know, job done and just in time, but you know, everybody will be kind of making a little jump around, so everybody's be patient with us, and we we'll work through that, but she done an outstanding job today. And um, another thing is I want to mention, you know, like Michelle, she does a lot of things behind the scenes people don't realize, you know, that's like the courthouse lighting, you know, that's something we do in the community. We get a lot of praises on that. And this month it'll be turned pink for um, breast cancer awareness, you know, and I've got on my pink today to support the breast cancer. And um, just like the September the 30th, it was green for the neonatal um, for the preemie babies that was born, you know, and I have a nephew that was born at two pounds or something, so I mean, I've, that's touched my family too, and you know, like the, just like this COVID virus, you know, Commissioner Black asked for everybody for prayers, you know, and this affects not only our president, it affects other people in this nation, so let's pray for our whole nation, let's pray for everybody that's um, affected by this and fighting this disease, and um, so, and I, with all that, I'd like to thank everybody for attending today, um, 
Everybody have a great day and a great week. And with all that, we'll adjourn until 9 a.m. on Monday, October the 19th of 2020 at the Clinton Street Courthouse Annex, 100 South Clinton Street, Athens, Alabama.